Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, the one and only, the Amazing Talking Panda. And today we're having a look at the player map, or the mini map, or whatever it's called. Basically the map that opens up when you press the M button. And here it is. Now notice as I zoom in, the satellite mask is going to blend in with the map like so. And if you also notice, all the roads and the forests and houses and stuff are all very crisp. And that's because they're vector graphics, meaning they don't lose any quality when the map is enlarged. They don't become blurred or pixelated as they do in other games. Now let me just zoom out here. The red X tells us the player's location, that's pretty self-explanatory. We can pan the map around. And we've also got icons for all the important landmarks such as a windmill, cliffs, service station, port, factory, synagogue, church, and even what type of forest this is. Now, if I close the map and reopen it, it remembered where everything was before I closed it. And that's pretty much all there is to it guys, I know this is all very simple, but I have to say that this was probably one of the hardest things that we had to program for the game because it all works based off, this, based off of the screen size and the mouse coordinates and the DPI and it's, it's all just a big pain in the backside to get it to work and scale properly. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Origins. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.